Okay, it's been a little while, uh, but I have a project that I'm going to do that I've been wanting to do for a long time. And it's on my J20, it's actually a J10 with J20 running gear. And uh, what I'm going to do, is I've done this before, it works out pretty well, is I'm going to refurbish the headliner. You know, all the paint is peeling off. It's, you know, it's made out of cardboard. It's kind of got a pattern and a shape to it. But basically, what you have to do is you've got to take and get all of this trim removed. And then this trim here, and on the other side, the trim above the doors, is actually, uh, got a couple clips so you have to pull that out with a clip remover tool so that you don't tear up the cardboard so we're gonna work on that and I'll show you how to refurbish this and get it uh, to looking pretty decent also while we're here check out the the new vent window deletes these uh, are running uh, JK mirrors and this is a prototype this is not quite fitting the way i like it but it fits good on the other side but this is to do away with the the vent windows and all the expense of rebuilding them redoing them the hundred and two hundred dollar seals that uh that go with them etc but this has worked out really nice um, it took me a couple mirror options to get what looked good and I've also got a low profile uh, set of mirrors that I'm working on that'll be done soon too but these are the more trucky ones uh, they're a little bit larger and uh, they obstruct a little bit of the view uh, in that direction but it's not that much I mean it's definitely uh, less than what you see on the big trucks and stuff like that you know the three-quarter ton and the two tons of today with the big mirrors and stuff okay this is with uh, everything pulled out uh, you can see over the door there those are the clips that retain that um, metal strip that holds the sides in uh, those are kind of hard to get out and uh, most of them pulled out on this side with the with the little uh, upholstery pry bar, but those ones remained, uh, so I'll pull those out and stick them back in when I clip it all back together. But uh, if you look up here, see those white stripes? I actually had. Let's look at this. I actually had sprayed the inside there with a um, bed liner to, to dampen the noise, and I put three butyl strips from where Lowe's it's the same stuff that you can use on your house and every one of them fell out so the adhesive uh, doesn't stick when there's nothing between the metal and the hot sun so I don't know if, if the automotive stuff would stick better I kind of suspect that it won't because I've used this butyl on the floor and it doesn't doesn't come apart because gravity's not working against it. So I'm thinking of when I put it all back together is just to put it uh, a small uh, maybe half inch three quarter inch foam insulation uh, actually on the board so that the board will support it. Uh, if you guys have better success with that automotive gray butyl, let me know. But uh, this will flatten out. It's kind of crispy right now. Uh, but we're going to take and cut these bad pieces out and basically uh, epoxy uh, board, uh, not board, but uh, cardboard sheeting in there. Try to get close to the same thickness uh, to fix the holes that are there. Actually, we've only got one hole, but I'm digging this here. This gives me opportunity to work on the uh, inside dome light. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something different. I'm going to see use a KC highlight uh, LED in place of this. And so I'll probably cover this up in some capacity so that the uh, LED will fit. 
All right, so we'll work on it. Take some more pictures. All right, so let me show you basically a green scotch pad. I was able to knock off just about every bit of the paint. So it still kind of has a texture to it, but truthfully, I am not going to try to keep this texture. I am going to retexture it with uh, chip guard uh, before I put it back in. So I'm not worried about this texture. And basically, I'm going to clean up the backside uh, underneath, and then I'm gonna flatten this thing out, and I'm gonna roll uh, epoxy resin the uh, fiberglass resin onto the back let it set up it's going to soak in it's going to it's going to reseal this cardboard and it's also going to make it stiffer so that we can put the patches in that we need to put in and it'll also sure up some of these damaged areas so that we can sand them or do whatever we need to them to uh to get them uh, in a reasonable position so that we can patch them. You know, if we have to, once it's nice and hard, then we can cut out the areas that we need uh, to patch, and then we'll put some more resin on it. All right, this is uh, where we're at now. I've got, uh, I've got it weighted down with uh, basically my U-Springs uh, and bump stop skid plate, or U-Bolt, Bump stop plates, I've got plenty of those. Uh, you just need to be careful that uh, whatever you weigh it down with, that it doesn't stick to the resin. So I basically taped the blocks so that if the tape sticks, that's fine. At least the metal blocks won't stick. And uh, so I basically put 10 ounces of resin. There was six, ounce of re six ounces of resin that I reduced with uh, acetone to 10 ounces so i guess it's one sixth or 18 percent acetone reduced and basically i spread that on there and the thing is i don't know when it's going to flash off and harden it should be it's cold it's cooler this this week it's like 70 degrees so this may be sticky and tacky uh for the rest of the evening so I will probably move on to something else let this sit and tack up and then I'm gonna flip it over and do the same thing on the other side and that's the painted side and then when that's done then I'll go get to work on patching it all right just like uh, anything else a uh, project that you start ends up taking ten times longer than it's supposed to uh, or what you expected but uh, let me show you what's going on here okay I've basically refurbished the cardboard that's on there and there's some places that uh, were real flimsy even after I put the uh, resin on so I'm going to sure those up in the back where it won't be seen with some fiberglass mat uh, patched a couple small holes uh, did the corners but right now while I'm waiting for that to set up I am going to clean up the trim and I've got a little bit of uh, rust that I'm going to knock off of there and then I'll go around and straighten some of the bends out. I know that it is contoured to the roof, so I'm not gonna make it straight, but I'm gonna knock out those ones that are a little bit crazy. And also on the side pieces, they've got some, uh, looks like some adhesive vinyl that they put on there. I'm gonna clean that up, get these straightened out, because they're not supposed to be bent. Get these straightened up, uh, get them ready to go. And I'm looking at several colors here. I've got a Color Max. I think that's a little dark, but I'm going to go ahead and shoot it. And then I do have a lighter colored tan, but it's a vinyl paint. So if I don't like the way this looks here, I'll try that vinyl color. But either way, we'll get it going. I'm even thinking about maybe making the trim gold because I'm going to have gold accents on the truck when I finally get finished, which is like never. And uh, But that's the goal. That's the uh, idea anyway. So I'll get back to it real quick. We're getting close. I mean, this mess here is taking a lot longer than I thought it would, but uh, we're going to be painting here soon. So let's get busy. 
Okay, I've gotten to a point where I'm starting to put texture down. Uh, I am using SIM chip guard. I, uh, I am not trying to necessarily keep the fake leather look because some of that is peeled away. And uh, But I've got a light coat of texture on there. I'm going to let that set up. A little uh, heavier where my detail work was with the uh, with putting in the new pieces because that corner there has been replaced that corner over there has been replaced and basically gonna let this set up and then I'm gonna put black on it and I'm thinking about uh, uh, going with the other color this color this is uh, actually turning out pretty nice and I'm going to go with this color on the side edges. 